talk too much but this is the wig i just wanted y'all to get a gist of what the wig looked like and what i was working with before i actually did the color change so just a few products that i used so, so stay tuned but i do want to make this clear normally if i do it depending on what color i'm going for i really just wanted like a cute brownish um look not too far gone brownish, but like enough brownish for me. So, I'm getting ready to put every, all my products into the bowl. My BW2, which is the bleach, the bleach powder. And then I'm going to put the developer, which I got 40. 40 developer. It matters, guys. 4T. 4-0, okay? It matters. Trust me. So I also want to make it clear that I did not use too much, guys. I know you think that I did, but I really didn't. Um, because I had some leftover in both bottles, but it was only a little. That's why I was able to pour both inside. And even the powder, it was probably about four scoops, maybe four and a half scoops worth of bleach in there. That's what you guys are seeing. And as I'm scooping that up, as you can see, the steam is coming from the hot water that I already have in the sink. Well, not in the sink, in the um, container that I was using. There you go. You guys can see the container now. And I was dumping it over because I realized I had too much water in there. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that it got good. That it got in there good. So, yeah. And basically, when you do this, you want to make sure that it's not too thick. You just want it just right. Like... I mean, I honestly can't stress it enough, guys. It just really needs to be running, okay? Not too much. So, yeah, basically this is what I'm doing. I'm mixing it to get that good texture to where it's just nice and runny and flowy. You know, like, I'm going to say like milk a little bit. Like milk a little bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in the hot water. Hey, y'all see the steam? So that water is hot, guys. Don't go ahead and try to do it with no cold water, warm water. You need that water hot, like hot, hot. And then that's basically what it should look like. You see it? It looks like milky water. That's what it should look like. So now I let it sit for about five minutes. You guys see it? I pulled it out, brushed it down, brushed it down, brushed it down. And you know, just to make sure that it gets through evenly. So guys, after I let it sit for another five minutes, which was 10 minutes all together, the whole process, guys, what I did was I let it sit for five, I brushed it out, brushed it out to get through all the strands evenly, and I put it back in for another five more minutes, then pulled it back out. Excuse my man in the back, y'all. He's so nosy. He want to be seen so bad on this camera. <laughs> y'all say hi to him. <laughs> And then I brushed it out again after the additional five minutes. And this is, you can start to see it already, the color that it's already changing. Now, I only let it sit for 10 minutes, guys, because I did not want it to be that light. I wanted my color just right. I wanted like a pretty light brown. I didn't want it too much too far gone, okay? And pretty much after that, I just washed it, conditioned it. I let it sit in the conditioner for about 20 minutes. And then I rewashed it out. I pretty much fast sped it up the whole time after that because most of y'all already know how to wash and dry. So pretty much what y'all see is what y'all get. Like I said, I didn't want my color to be too light, so I didn't keep it in too long. But if you guys choose to do a brighter color, you guys can definitely do it longer. But basically, I just showed you how to do a beat.